Leo. Welcome to your general love reading for July. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading is not going to resonate with everyone. So take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry I've been late on the last readings. I've been working every day nonstop the past 15 days. 14 hours straight, so it's been difficult, and I'm so sorry, but things are getting back on track. Thank you for hanging in there with me. All right, last one. Let's get into it here. All right. So your Romance Angel cards you got for July is calling in your soulmate and express your love. So I feel like someone's, someone really wants to talk to you is what I'm seeing. Somebody is calling you in using prayers, affirmations, laws of attraction, because they want to speak to you, but it's almost like they're afraid to do it first. You know, they want you to do it first. And we have, I think we are polar opposite and I am obsessed with you. So this could be a twin flame soulmate situation. Definitely. Cause we do have calling in your soulmates. That's why the polar opposite, I feel, is here. <clears throat> you two could be um, on two different sides of the spectrum, too, in regards to personality or uh, just in how you do things. <clears throat> but this person can't get you off their mind. They want to talk to you, and they want to talk to you very badly. Um, but that tells me that there's uh, no speaking at the moment, and apparently uh, you haven't called them or talked to them. Okay. They're really wanting to talk to you. They're wanting to tell you how they feel. Okay. Overall energy. We have the, uh, this is eight. Yeah. Eight of pentacles. Okay. So this is working hard at something, right? Putting all your time and effort into uh, one thing, you know, um, making sure all the details are perfect. You know, I keep hearing, um, perfect, perfect, perfectly matched. And I'm not sure why, but either this person feels like you are their perfect match or um, you feel that as well. But um, the overall energy is both sides here working really hard on something and on achieving something or a goal here. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on in the current situation. Let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you. Okay, we have the chariots. So with this, I feel like somebody's trying to overcome an obstacle here. Um, there's been, I just heard, okay, so a lot of struggle. There's been a lot of struggle and a lot of uh, barriers in this situation. Okay, so we have the chariot, two of wands, and the lovers in reverse. Okay. Here we have, it actually goes like this. Here we have a, you know, success, right? The chariot moving forward, overcoming obstacles, making sure that it is a, is a success, I'm sorry, success. <laughs> Maybe somebody can't, um, is not really, their throat chakra is really clogged right now. Um, we have the two of wands with the lovers reversed. This is making, needing to make a decision, right? There is um, two paths that this person can go on. The lovers in reverse tells me that the choice has not been made, okay? And the connection has been stale. The connection has, you know, it's almost like there's there's chemistry there, okay? It's un, it's unseen um, because there's no talking, there's no communication, there's no physical interaction. But they, it's like they know that they need to make a decision even if they don't hear from you. They know that they need to make a decision if they if they want to achieve what they want here with the chariot. Okay. So they want something. They want to talk to you. I just keep hearing, and the reason I keep saying is, I just keep hearing is, I got to tell them. I got to tell them. I got to tell them. That's what I keep hearing. Okay. So tell me about the chariot here. Strength card. Yes. Perseverance. I just heard I'm persevering through it all. So this person's been struggling, okay? You don't get the chariot unless you've, you're overcoming struggle and um, obstacles, okay? It is, it is a success card, 
but this person is taming themselves. They are really trying to find the strength and the courage within here. Sorry, my cables. Um, to come towards you here. Tell me about the strength. What are they wanting to do? What are they wanting to do? Sun. You could be dealing um, with another Leo as well. Doesn't have to be. Or we have Gemini here. But they want they want clarity. They want to know if it's gonna if it's gonna work out. They want to know what you feel. They want to know from your side. Tell me about the sun card. Knight of Swords. Yeah, they want to be able to just let their fears go and be able to speak their truth. They want to hear your truth. They want to make sure that the situation is just like clear the air. That's what they want here with the Knight of Swords. Tell me about this Lover's Reverse, though. I want to see this for a second. Nine of Cups. So right now, it's almost like for a while now, they've been kind of comfortable um, with not knowing the answer. Okay. It's kind of like you left them on, on hold. This person, they don't really know where they stand. And they've just been kind of, although they want to know, they've been kind of comfortable in not knowing. Um, they've kind of been like, because the less you know, the better, right? Because they really want this very badly with um, Express Your Love and I Am Obsessed With You. But, <sighs> oof, I'm feeling the anxiety. <laughs> um, but it's like... It, they can wait a little longer. It's like, you know, tomorrow will come. Let's just keep going. Um, even, I want to hear from them so badly, but, you know, I don't want to. They know it's like the end all be all. If, if they find out that you do not care for them in that way or do not want to be with them or give them another chance, they'd rather uh, not know being, which is making them be, feel comfortable at the moment, but yet they're torn because they do want to know. Tell me about this Nine of Cups, please. Yeah, Tower Nine of Cups. You know, it's like, you know, is this is this going to work out? Is this going to change everything? It's like the drastic change, you know, of, of the love between you two. It's the drastic change. Tell me about this Two of Wands. Seven of Wands. To fight for this, right? The decision... They know you, you both are at a crossroads. It's either, you know, totally end it or move forward. And this person, it's like they can't figure out how, they can't, I just heard that can't, they can't put their finger on you. They can't figure out what you want for some reason. <clears throat> and the tarot spirits really bringing this home. The same message that they cannot figure out what you want. It's like they 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 don't know if you want them cuz you're they're feeling like mixed signals here. You know, in the past. So let me let me see how they feel about you in the current moment. Let's get to that. How does this person feel about Leo, our lovely lions in the current moment? Let's see. Okay, this is a very intense connection. I will say that. We have the Magician, the Fool, and the Knight of Pentacles. So this person does want commitment with you. They do want to move this forward, all right? They do see you as the one here. I'm st I'm just like staring at that infinity symbol in his hand. You guys might be twin flames for sure. But it's like they can't stop the connection. Like as much as they may have tried, to move on, they can't. Tell me about this Fool card. Hierophant. So, to be with you would definitely be a big risk, okay? Uh, not only with their feelings, but it would be a risk in their environment. So, something... Tell me about the Hierophant. Something in their environment, whether they're married or... Um, Seven of Swords, yeah, Hierophant. It's like a taboo situation, so they would have to do it um, in a very maybe unethical way to most people. It doesn't have to be, but they it's they feel like 
to be with you, they would risk a lot. So they would have to make sure that it, it is for sure on your side. Like you really want this. You really want to commit to this because they would be risking um, all of their security and their stability or whatever they've built for themselves here or leaving people behind. I also see somebody may have to sneak out of a situation here. I, I have to say it. Somebody might be stuck in a situation that is not good for them. Not good for them at all. Tum of the Seven of Swords. But it's almost like they would have to do it, um, you know, um, unorthodox. Like they would have to do it in a way where not completely stating everything that they're going to do. Like they would have to sneak around and possibly even leave in the night too. We have Queen of Cups reverse. Yeah, they are stuck in a situation here. Somebody's in a situation that's not healthy for them emotionally. And um, although it may provide physical stability or some kind of sense of, um, they might be tied to responsibility on something. But with Queen of Cups reversed, um, this is somebody that is not in control of their emotions. They're around somebody that um, could be very um, emotionally, especially with Seven of Swords. Yeah. Queen of Cups reversed with the Five of Swords. This is no good. No, no. So the person you're dealing with could be stuck in a situation and they really see you as their light at the end of the tunnel. Somebody that could if they end up with, could literally save them, uh, if that makes sense. Because <sighs> this is unfortunate because this is somebody that has been going through a lot for a long time. And they are constantly, I just heard, uh, I'm ridiculed. So they could be ridiculed. They're emotionally uh, manipulated. Um, they're controlled, I see. Um, the person that they're with, uh, if this is a significant other they are with or they're married, is very controlling and, in fact, never lets them uh, win. I just heard, I have no voice, okay? So this person that you're dealing with feels like they've never had a voice or been able, nobody, um, like, allows them to... Uh, feel or to acknowledge their side of things that's very <clears throat> sad but how they feel about you the magician excuse me <clears throat> magician in the wheel that yes you are their way out almost which we should never look at somebody as our way out but they see you and I think that's why they're obsessed it's like so they're constantly thinking like I can have this better life with this person. Like, I know that they're meant for me. And with this being the feelings, the magician is like, you get them and, and nobody gets them in their environments. So it's like this, oh, I, I, I need the words for it. It's like this calling of, how am I going to say this? There's such a different connection here that and if this is your story and it can be vice versa don't you know remember that please this there's something about your connection where either you've known each other before or when you were younger okay because i used to that with the sun card here there's something about you guys this person gets you without knowing you after a long time if that makes sense, like they know you, uh, but they know the, the true you just because I don't know why they just, there's this weird, it's different than any reading. Like there's something, it is definitely soulmate twin flame, but, um, it's even different than twin flame. It, is, it could be twin flame, but if it is a twin flame, there's something about the physical realm, the 3d that you guys have come together before or there's something you know your situation I won't dwell on it too much king of swords yeah they get you get them and they don't understand why um you're not wanting to be on board with this they almost feel like 
you know, I hate to say this, they almost feel like they're the damsel in distress and they're waiting for their knight in shining armor, which is you going, hello, please help me here. But um, I just need somebody to talk to is what I'm seeing. They just want somebody to talk to. It seems like you've been the only person that's really acknowledged their feelings, acknowledged who they are and, and their worth. And if it's that's not part of your story, just take, you know, leave that part out. But that's the message for somebody. Okay, let's see what's happened here. What's a challenge? I want to see what's the conflict. What happened between you? What's the challenge? Okay, we have Ace of Pentacles, Empress, Three of Wands. This is definitely somebody, either you or the other person or both, have waited a very long time. This tells me this is distance. This this tells me distance all the way. Okay, I, I just, I'm, I'm hearing it like along the waters. How long do I have to wait? I could keep hearing screaming. So... An opportunity has been missed here. Okay, that's the challenge. Somebody didn't take the bait. Somebody didn't step up and go see the other person or make a move. We have the Empress card here that would uh, have started this relationship. It's almost like when it starts, it ends. A kind of feel. World, yeah, it ends. And then it starts again. It's like a cycle, right? It ends, then it starts up. It ends, and then it starts up. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Why? <clears throat> three of Pentacles. Could be a possible third party. Now I have three threes. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Possibly work. Six of Pentacles. Somebody giving too much to their home situation, um, like money-wise or giving too much to their career, could be working a lot too. I don't really, that's for some though. I really feel like this person didn't take a risk because they were either married to a, to somebody or married to a situation where they were getting stability and security. Although it was not healthy for them, they were emotionally um, scarred. They're emotionally scarred now, which is very sad. Um, and I feel like they just, they're yearning to talk here. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, this lost opportunity. See, the Ace of Pentacles, that tells me that it was a trip. Something physical was offered here. Page of Cups, Six of Swords. I'm telling you, it's a, a trip. We have the World card here. It says travel. So, somebody was supposed to go see somebody. Or somebody promised it, and if it's not... If it's not distance, guys, it's the distance in the situation, the the lack of communicating from time to time. But when you did communicate, it was it was good. Like you would feel like, you know, you cared about this person. This person felt like you got them. But whatever was going on in your situation, too, because let's see your side. What happened with Leo? Nine of Wands, Judgments. I feel like you waited too long. It was almost like, this person, I, you know, I need to move on. This person, you know, is promising me they're going to leave their situation or give us a shot. Nine of Wands here, Judgment. And I feel like you're, you're still hanging in there, though. That's the thing. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. I know some of you are going to say, no, I'm not. Four of Pentacles, yeah. You guys still have that um, connection. You know, you may not be speaking to them, but they're still there. You know, and you are moving on here. We have judgment. Tell me about judgment. Hermit in reverse. Yeah, you're moving on. You've, you've, did, you've spent some time. You've really thought about the situation and how you want to deal with it. Um, we have King of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, Six of Wands. Still, you're just like, I did want success in this. I did want to build the situation with this person and we could have had a life together. But I didn't know which way to go about it. Because it seems like you tried everything here with the Seven of Cups, the way it's coming out with the Six of Wands. You made your choice to be with this person. 
this person didn't uh, get on the ball fast enough here with the Knight of Pentacles in the challenge. They were too slow in um, making making the choice here. Let's see what action this person's going to take towards you in the month of July. We have Temperance, Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. They are really trying to balance themselves. They are really trying so hard <clears throat> to keep their heart, <clears throat> excuse me, to keep their heart under control and stay balanced. It almost feels like they're going to lose it, though. Tell them about the Two of Pentacles. Just the way this Two of Pentacles is. High Priestess, yeah. I mean, you're not going to know, you don't know about it. You know, but look how he's walking that line. You know, it's like, oh gosh, any minute these can fall. Any minute I'm going to lose it. I'm trying to go with the ebb and flow of everything. Tell about this Temperance. Ten of Swords in reverse. They're really trying to balance themselves. They're really trying to get grounded. Because Ten of Swords reverse. They're trying to come out of this. I mean, this really hit them hard. Because it feels like it here, the energy that I'm feeling is they feel like they lost it all. They feel like they lost everything with you. Like this, like this isn't just like, oh, I lost another fish in the sea. This is somebody that you mean something so special to them. That, no, that nobody can replace. That's the thing. That's the feeling here. Tell them about the Four of Swords. So they feel like they need to ground themselves. And that's the action they're going to take. They're going to wait it out. Four of Swords, Three, three of Swords. They're going to wait it out. And you know why I think this? Sorry. It's because they're waiting for you to make a move. They're waiting for you to call them. They don't have the strength. I mean, we had Chariot Strength. I feel like they're trying to gain the strength to do it, but they're so conflicted here because they don't know if they want to hear the answer. I mean, they, they want to, but they don't because they're comfortable and not knowing, yet they don't like their situation and, and how it is and unhealthy it is, but it's because but it's okay because they're used to it, if that makes sense. They're used to the turmoil. They're used to... It's like they know what's coming next. And with you, it's like they don't know and, and they don't want to lose the sh opportunity. So yet they're okay with waiting. Tell me about the, what's the outcome for July. <clears throat> Oops. Spirit just told me. Upside down. Oh, that, okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. That one's supposed to be. Okie dokie. All right, outcome is Eight of Cups in reverse. Uh, so somebody not leaving the situation, okay? Tell me about the Moon card here. Tell me about this Eight of Cups in reverse. Spirit keeps drawing me back to this, like, no, 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 no. There's something I'm missing here about this. We have the Moon, Five of Pentacles, okay? This person is definitely in their feelings. They're going to feel like they are more alone than ever. We have the five, two fives here, five of cups, <clears throat> five of wands. They're battling with their emotions here. They're feeling like they lost everything. And so they're unwilling to leave because they have no assurance that the grass will be greener on the other side, even though it will. So the lesson, it's like a lesson that this person needs to learn here is that you know, it doesn't, they don't need you or somebody else to make them happy or to get out of a situation that's not healthy for them. They need the courage within themselves to do what's right for themselves. And it seems like that's what um, the universe is trying to work with this person on. You could be dealing with an Aquarius as well. But we have Ten of Wands reversed, Knight of Wands. See, in August, yeah, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Letting go of all this stuff. They're actually going to be making a move. This is towards August here. Finally letting go of all that struggle. 
standing up for themselves, Queen of Swords, not letting anyone else um, hurt them anymore. <clears throat> Let me get a couple of Oracle cards for you. Your dreams need a practical plan, definitely. Step out of your comfort zone. This is what this person, this is what's happening with this person. The universe is trying to push them and get them to see <clears throat> that they don't need you. So that's probably why it's okay that there's no communication right now. <clears throat> that they need to do for themselves. The answers you need are coming. You are good enough and don't let your past hold you back. That's perfect. Yeah. This person needs to step out of their comfort zone. They need a practical plan. Start, start putting goals into the 3D, right? And not depend on somebody else to do it, but to do it themselves. Don't let your past hold you back. You are good enough and the answers you need are coming. And it's almost like for this person, their lack of self-esteem probably due to their situation um, has held them back. But the answers they need are coming. And I am seeing full moon in Gemini was really important to them. Very important to them. And wherever their north node is, um, I don't know if you know their birth chart, but you really need to find that out. Because that will give you more of a timeline of what's going to what's gonna happen here. Because they are going to make a move. They, 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 they're going to be pushed to the point coming out of the Ten of Wands and having it reversed. So... Um, if you want to check out their north node, if you do know their birth chart or the where they were born, um, that's going to be very important here. All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. I wish you guys all the best. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you next time. I'll see you in August. Things are changing, so let's get ready, okay? All right, love you. Bye.